Hello and welcome back to another episode of Progeox Tip of the Month. Today we will see how to insert a statistics report as well as a grade tonnage curve using a block model. Now this can be used using samples, composites, or points, but in this case we will use a block model as an example. So first I'm going to insert a block model using my convention. Now, as you can see here, we have different colors for different blocks. And the reason why is because each color represents a different grade value. Now, you can configure this in the ProMine options. So in this case, we have green as low grade and then red, pink ish as high grade. So back to Progeox and using the exploratory data analysis, we're going to Click the options command and we will make sure that blocks are selected here or make sure to select whatever object that you're working with. So like I said, you can use samples or points. The annotation scale, this is the scale for the report. We're going to change that to 0.5. Decimals in the report, we're going to keep it to 1 and we're going to use units. Now under statistics annotations, in items, these are all the items that you can insert in the report. Now, you can add an item by simply clicking this arrow, or to remove an item, you click this button. And you can also configure this in a way to organize your items as you want in the report. Now, in here, I added all the items, but feel free to remove whatever items that you don't need. Now, I'm going to click OK. Now, go to Plan View and click the statistics report, select the blocks, and hit enter. Now in here, the program will show you the grades found in the block model or your objects, and will display it here. So as you can see here, we have silver and gold. So select the grades that you want, and make sure that use units is selected, and hit OK. Now I'm going to place my report right here, and as you can see, we have the items that we selected in the options displayed right here for each one of these grades. So for example, we have the mean coefficient or variation, the interquartile range, as well as many other items in here. And now to generate a grade tonnage curve, again, from the exploratory data analysis module, select this command right here, grade tonnage curve. Then select the block model and note that this command only works for block models. So once you select it, hit enter. And in here, you're basically going to select the grade value that you want to work with. So in our case, we're going to select gold and then we're going to have a fixed density of 2.5. And then for the minimum and maximum cutoff grades, based on our statistics here, we see that the P25 is zero and the P75 is 5.1 here. So from that, we can deduct that the minimum cutoff grade should be around 0 0.5 and the maximum cutoff grade should be three. So this would be just an example, but you can try with other values as well. Then hit graph and we're going to expand this window and zoom in a little bit here. And as we can see, we have the cutoff grade on the X axis. On the left hand side of the Y axis here, we have the tonnage above cutoff grade. And on the right hand side, we have the average grade above cutoff grade. Now the red line here, the one that goes down, is representing the tonnage above cutoff grade. And this makes sense because the higher the cutoff grade, the less tonnage that you have to extract. And the higher the cutoff grade, the higher the average will be because you're averaging higher values of the grade. Now, we want to focus on this optimal point here. This point basically tells you the optimal point where you get the maximum average grade above cutoff grade without decreasing your tonnage. So to view this point here, we're going to right click and show point values. This will basically allow you to show the exact coordinates on this point here. All right, so if we hover over this point, we can see that 
The cutoff grade is 1.73 with an average grade above cutoff grade of 6.5. And for the tonnage, it would be around 200,000 tons. So uh, using this graph here, you can also right click and save image as to insert it in your report or export it to another program. And this concludes this tip of the month. Thank you for watching.